Hello, and welcome to this quick take video where I'll explain how to use the Vivado IP integrator flow to work with the Amazon F1 Hardware Development Kit, or HDK. IP integrator is a design entry tool in the Vivado HLX design suite. It lets developers connect IPs at a block level and generates a what you see is what you get registered transfer language, or RTL file, either in VHDL or Verilog format. The IP integrator flow enhances the standard RTL flow and gives the developer access to designer assistance features, which include simplified connectivity of AXI peripherals through interface-based connections, block automation to add helper blocks like interconnects, DMAs, or other support blocks based on an IP's configuration, connectivity automation to route interfaces, clocks, and resets between blocks, design rule checks or DRCs to ensure proper interface connectivity and clock domain crossing, and advanced hardware debug capabilities that enable a developer to debug at a transaction level. Today we'll build this example design for Hello World. Let's start a new instance of Vivado. I'll source the settings files from my Vivado install tree, the HDK setup.sh, and then launch the Vivado GUI by typing the command Vivado into my shell. Next, we'll create a new project, and we can just choose the defaults as we'll override these once we're in our project. To get the latest IP, helper files, and project settings, I've included a Tickle app that's part of our cloned F1 image. This app will update our project, and I've set it up as a custom button in our toolbar. The output of this Tickle app will be reflected to our Tickle console. Details on setting up this app can be found in Setting Up the Vivado HLX Environment and the F1 HDK Quick Take, another video in the series. Links to that quick take can be found in this video's comments or in the playlist navigation window. The Tickle app creates an IP integrator diagram that includes an instance of the Amazon Web Services F1 connectivity IP. Now we'll make modifications to our IP integrator diagram to create our Hello World application. We begin by changing the configuration of the connectivity IP to match our requirements. We'll enable the interfaces for the PCI-S, BAR1, and non-AXI ports. Next, let's add some IP. First, we'll start with a block RAM controller and configure it to handle a 512-bit data width. When possible, we want to take advantage of connection automation, which is shown on the green designer automation bar near the top of our canvas. Connection automation is available, and we can use it to connect with our AWS connection IP. Let's choose PCI-S as the interface master to connect to our block RAM. Next, let's add the GPIO. We'll connect the GPIO up to the LED port on the AWS connectivity IP. Let's configure the GPIO as all outputs 16 bits wide. We'll choose bar one as our interface master to connect to the GPIO peripheral. Now let's redraw and regenerate our diagram. We can see that the interconnect was automatically added between our AWS connectivity IP and our GPIO. Likewise, an AXI Smart Connect was added to connect with our internal block of memory. The Smart Connect can be used to attain higher throughput and performance when bursting data to and from memory. Let's validate and save our diagram. Success! We have no errors or critical warnings in our design, so let's go through the rest of the implementation flow. The command that was run when I used the custom tickle app button also set up our synthesis and implementation options. This allows us to simply double click on run implementation command in the flow navigator on the left. The implementation step will generate the necessary tar file required to create an Amazon FPGA image or AFI. Details on the AFI flow can be found in the video creating and running an Amazon FPGA image. Creating a custom hardware application for Amazon's F1 flow is greatly simplified when using Vivado HLX and IP Integrator. IP Integrator adds automation and rules checking to ensure that the design is correct by construction and greatly minimizes the tedious error-prone connectivity when working in pure RTL. The custom tickle command sets up all of our project properties necessary for the block diagram, synthesis, and implementation flows. Checking timing reports and cross-probing to the device view are fully supported features and creating the tar file necessary for the AFI can be accomplished with the standard Vivado flow navigator by running through implementation. Thank you for watching this quick take video. Look for other videos in the series about using the Vivado HLX design suite in the Amazon F1 hardware development kit, including the next video in the series, 
launching examples with AWS Make API and AWS Make RTL.